Hi everyone. <clears throat> this is Miss Allison. So happy that you could join me this evening. We are making today caramel caramel apples, but in a different way than you've seen them before. Okay. I like to start off every food program by asking you please if you're handling food to please wash your hands so that you don't transmit any germs. Also, make sure that you're not allergic to any of the items that are being used. For example, tonight we're using apples, and we also have some candy items. Okay, making caramel apples um, can be difficult if you don't have the right equipment. Okay. What you are going to need ideally is a crock pot. If you don't have a crock pot, you can still use the microwave, but you want to be very careful to use the microwave because caramel can burn easily. So I think the best way to do this is to use a crock pot and melt your caramel so that it doesn't burn. Okay, so today, we're going to be using apples. We're going to be slicing them carefully and then dipping them into some caramel. We have some different decorating, decorating your apple. Okay, these are multicolored sprinkles. I'm sure you've used these. Um, these are chocolate chips. Okay, you make sure you want to get milk chocolate chips, not the semi sweet. Okay, we also have little marshmallows, which are really cute to put on. And finally, we have our caramels. Now, these are craft caramels. And isn't it interesting that the person who invented the caramel, he was he used he worked at Kraft's Foods. A lot of us put caramel on dessert items. For example, um, okay, we put caramel on our ice cream. We put it on our other desserts. We put it on puddings and we put it on apples. So there are a lot of fun. Car caramel is really delicious and it's very sweet. Okay, now I have melted some caramel on the stove using a double boiler. But again, the best way to, to heat up caramel is in a crock pot. Okay. Caramel is very thick. At least you want it to be thick. Um, you want it to be thick. You don't want it too thin. But there is a way to make it thinner if your caramel is too thick, and that is to add water. Okay, adding water thins the caramel out. Okay. We also put caramel on peanuts. And on popcorn, it's really delicious on popcorn, as I'm sure you've had it that way before. Okay. So here's our apple, and I'm just going to show you, or you can see how I core it and slice it. Okay, I have one of these. Okay, it's a wheel. And um, the side that cuts is very sharp. So you want to be careful and you want to have a grown up helping you to do this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is stand up. I'm going to put the apple right in here, right in the center. And hopefully I can cut this up.
And as you can see, I sliced the apple in all different in um, on all sides. Okay. And your apple slices should be this big. Okay. And you can put them on a plate. I'm just going to show you how this looks. Okay. All right. Okay, so you have your apple slices and your core. You can just throw the core out in the garbage. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is show you how you might want to decorate your caramel apple. I'll just show you here. These are two apple slices that I made. There's caramel and there's uh, sprinkles. So it looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to take an apple slice. Just be careful because apples can turn brown very easily um, if they're if they're if they stay out too long. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my apple slice and I'm going to stick it in some caramel. Okay, I'll put it on my plate. And I think I will put some chocolate chips on it. Okay. You have to be very careful with caramel because it does harden quickly. So you've got to use it, you know, rather quickly. Let me see if I can do another one and get a little more caramel on there. Okay, so you want to put as much caramel as you want on your apple slice. You know, it's up to you. You can put however much you want. Okay, okay so as I was saying before, caramel um, was invented in the 1950s by someone from the Kraft Food Company. Just so that you know, on the back of the bag, there are directions if you were interested in making a whole caramel apple. And those are the directions that I followed. Okay. And as I was saying before, caramel is used as a topping on so many things. You can put it on ice cream, on peanuts. Um, if you don't eat peanuts, then I definitely wouldn't try it on peanuts. Um, it's also used for popcorn and it's called caramel corn. Okay. The color of caramel is a brownish orange color. All right. It's a very pretty color. All right. Okay. So again, this is what the what the apple looks like. You can pull the core right out. This is if you use a slicer. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take a little break and read a story. Okay, it was a beautiful day out today, and it was a beautiful day out yesterday. So I'm going to read one of my favorite stories called Quiet in the Garden.
I love to go out in the garden. I see flowers, bushes, berries, trees, and a little pond. I sit quietly. If I am very still, I see more. I am so quiet, I even hear sounds around me. Chirp, squeak, crunch. I can almost hear a butterfly flutter by. I sit still and I listen. Today, a robin flew down and nibbled red berries from a bush. Why did you do that? asked a snail. Well, I was hungry, said the robin, and off it flew. The snail ate holes in some leaves. Why did you do that? asked the butterfly. It's what I do when I'm hungry, said the snail, as it slid away. The butterfly sipped nectar from the flowers. Why did you do that, asked a worm. I was thirsty, said the butterfly, and it is so tasty and sweet. The worm squiggled in the soil to eat bits of plants and bugs. Why did you do that, asked the squirrel. I was hungry, said the worm, squiggling under again. Goodbye. The squirrel crunched on an acorn. Why did you do that, asked a spider. Ah, uh, said the squirrel, crunching away. The spider caught a fly in its web. Oops, said a turtle. Well, I am hungry too, said the spider as it ate the fly. I watched the turtle munch on soft moss by a rock. Why did you do that? asked a lizard. I was hungry, said the turtle. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The lizard crawled along a wall and snapped up a moth. Why did you do that? asked a frog. I was hungry, said the lizard, and I couldn't wait until dinner time. The frog hopped up and caught a gnat. Why did you do that? asked a fish. I was hungry, said the frog, and I didn't want to eat you. The fish nibbled some algae. Why did you do that? asked a mouse. I was hungry, said the fish, and it dove for more. The mouse crunched seeds, leaves, berries, and bugs in the compost heap. Why did you do that? asked my rabbit. I was very, very hungry, said the mouse, chomping on an apple core, and I still am. I picked apples, berries, radishes, carrots, a cucumber, and more for a picnic with my friends.
the robins, snail, butterfly, worm, the squirrel, spider, turtle, lizard, the frog, fish, mouse, and my rabbit. What a racket they all made. We were hungry in the yummy, not so quiet garden with food enough to eat for all. Wow, look at how much food he has. And all the animals have. Okay, well, thanks for joining me tonight. Hope you enjoy your caramel apples.